Welcome to Penai Mom's Vlogs, where we share about the things we do and the places we see here in Amsterdam and beyond. And today, because the Dutch Zoo reopens again, we are back here at Burger Zoo. This is the Royal Burger Zoo, one of the largest zoos here in the Netherlands. It's located in Arnhem on the east side of the country, about an hour's drive from Amsterdam. We used to come here a lot, especially if we have visitors from overseas. This zoo is popular uh, with both Dutch and German visitors because it sits right at the border with Germany on the northeast side. And um, if you Google it, you'll find out that this place receives about 1.5 million um, visitors yearly. Um, but of course, uh, this year 2020, because of the coronavirus pandemic, this zoo had to close along with the rest of the countries um, for health and safety reasons. But now it's open to public uh, with new restrictions and regulations. So we're here to visit, have fun, especially with the kids. Um, so let's have a look at what kind of changes they've made and implemented to make us, the visitors, feel safer in this current environment. This zoo is divided into six major theme sites and route maps are given to visitors um, as a guide on how to walk around to see the exhibits. Let me show you some of them. The bush features a tropical rainforest experience, which means it could get really warm in here. It reminds me actually of the Philippine weather. Plus, here you will hear the sound of nature at its best. Birds chirping, branches swaying, and even the sound of the waterfall. So cool in here. This is the bush theme of Burger Zoo, and it's really warm. Hey, look, there's traffic. Traffic where? Oh, yeah, the turtles. Oh, that's so funny. It's turtle traffic. The ocean is a friend of mine. Ocean. Next stop is Ocean, and you guessed it right. It'll show almost everything that lives in water.
Okay, so I'm back and so far um, what I've noticed is, uh, well, let's start from the beginning. The ticket sales. Um, the ticket sale booth is closed because, uh, of course, now you have to reserve your time slot for your arrival and that we did. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a limited capacity of visitors here every day. And then you are always reminded to keep to the right when you walk around. Uh, some people follow that, some people don't. Um, there's also a lot of stickers pointing to the 1.5 meter distancing rule and as expected there's also separate entrance and exits for each exhibit so it seems that yeah they've been taking all the possible measures to lessen the possible spread of the virus so I think that's great. The restaurants are open. Yay, if it's open. Yeah, I think it is. And public restrooms are also open. They even leave alcohol gels by the entrance. But of course, nothing beats washing your hands thoroughly and more frequently. And now, let me show you a bit of the desert and the Rimba experience. This is the mangrove exhibit. Here in this exhibit, my kids love the manatees. Now, even with its new member. But I love the butterflies freely flying by much more. To eat at the restaurant, only one member is allowed inside. They ask you to alcohol gel your hands before coming in, and they also have designated entrance and exit, unlike before. Because you have to eat outside on marked tables. After a quick snack, we headed towards our last stop, the safari. Okay, another thing is wearing of the masks. I don't see that many people here wearing a mask. And that's for a reason, because actually under the current Dutch rules, it's not necessary to wear face masks here on your personal time, except of course, if you are with the public transport, then it's a must for you to wear those non-medical face masks because um, you can't really control the distance from uh, person to person when you're sitting next to them or behind uh, them in the bus or the metro. Plus, uh, the non-medical uh, face masks do not really protect you from the droplets caused by the virus, so only the medical mask do but that's actually reserved only for healthcare workers um, so um, if you just keep your social distance you wash your hands regularly and keep yourself from crowded places then you'll be fine
So, did you have a good time? Yeah. Kind of. kind of why <laughs> because i had to walk that much oh it was, uh, it was a lot of walk actually yeah, but uh, the only thing i could do is walk uh but it's okay because we're already at the end of our stay or end of our visit we're on our way home and i hope that you all like this video that we prepared for you our visit to burger zoo after it uh, reopened again so hope you like this video if you do Please don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you again next time. See you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to see more episodes of Pinai Mom's Vlogs, please click on any of the links up ahead or you can subscribe to our channel to see more episodes every week. Bye for now. Thanks again for watching and until next time.